file this under go woke or go broke, or do both, we'll go woke and go broke. It looks like Ben and Jerry's anti-Israel woke war will hurt its bottom line. Arizona will divest all state funds from the hippie ice cream giant because of its boycott of Israeli settlements. Arizona State Treasurer Kimberly Yee says she won't allow taxpayer cash to go to, quote, anti-Semitic discriminatory efforts against Israel. And she joins us now. Kimberly, thank you for joining us. So, we know Ben and Jerry's. They're like wildly liberal, and and they're you know they're, they're just awful, awful people. Um, and, but you're you're putting your foot down. You're saying there's no money going to Ben and Jerry's because of that anti-Semitism that they are displaying. That's right, Eric. And thank you for having me on your show. Uh, ben and Jerry's is part of this woke corporation movement that is just not about American values. And they're pushing out Israel as an example. For instance, they indicated just two months ago, Ben and Jerry said they would move their Israeli manufacturing company and distributor that has been making their ice cream for over 30 years out of Israel and out of the West Bank. This is anti-Semitic. It's discriminatory and it's wrong. And I will not allow Arizona taxpayer dollars to be invested in Unilever, their parent company, with these types of values. In fact, they said that Israel has values that are inconsistent with their policies. Israel, as you know, yep. has been a friend to the United States. And so we stand with Israel in this move. It's very important to note that Arizona has had a law on the books since 2016 when I served in the Arizona legislature that says that any state entity cannot do business with companies that boycott Israel. So we are just following the law. And I let Unilever know, Ben & Jerry's parent company, that they should tell Ben & Jerry's to change its course or face the consequences. They chose the latter. Yeah. And so we are removing $143 million out of our investments in Ben & Jerry's. It's amazing that they're willing to literally cut out half their, half their potential customer base. And I'm glad Arizona is doing it. I don't know why the other 49 states aren't doing the same thing. If you're going to boycott Israel, then we're not going to send your, our money to, to you. I hope other people understand that as well. You know, the odd thing is, if I'm not mistaken, Ben & Jerry's is in, in Vermont. Senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, Jewish as well. I mean, you would think he would lean into him and say, hey, what is this all about? Why are you boycotting Israel? It's the BDS movement. As you know, it's supporters of Palestine who are uh, encouraging this liberal, progressive agenda upon corporations in America. And they are saying they want to erase Israel's economy. And by doing so, they're encouraging corporations, just like Ben and Jerry's, to get their business out of Israel. This is anti-Semitic, and again, it's wrong. Other states should follow Arizona and remove their investments out of Ben and Jerry's and other woke corporations across America. In fact, we went yeah. even further by adding more investments in Israel bonds. We have $30 million in Israel bonds out of the state treasurer's office to continue to support our friends in Israel. Very good. Very good. Kimberly Yee, treasurer for uh, Arizona. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.